Say land, you say back. Land, 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 land. Stop, line three. Stop, line three. Stop, line three. Stop, line three. Ima Jean Luc Perit Etisa, Ima Tayoronica Halik Etisa. My name is Jean Luc Perit. I'm a member of the Tunica Biloxi tribe of Louisiana. I, uh, I'm originally from what we call Balbancha, what is commonly known as New Orleans. I'm a member of the Tunica Biloxi tribe of Louisiana. I live and I work on the traditional indigenous territory of the Massachusetts region, who continue to this day in part through their lineal descendants, the Massachusetts tribe of Ponkapog, and acknowledging the land wherever we are, we are always making agreement with our host tribe. One such agreement is to support every effort of every host tribe to make sure that we support the rematriation of land and natural resources back to the original peoples. Come to you today uh, with gratitude. Uh, my friend Leo that we're going to hear from in a few minutes had invited me to the front lines this past week. We spent time um, in Duluth. We spent time at the headwaters of the Mississippi River. We spent time at uh, Shell City Campground, held by Winona LaDuke. And we also went back to Minneapolis and visited George Floyd Square. Because there is no environmental justice without racial justice. What we are seeing in this fight today is the, is the battle for indigenous peoples to be who we have always been. The treaty rights that the Anishinaabe are fighting for to gather wild rice in their homelands, a place in the whole world where only that wild rice grows, a place where they can hunt, a place where they can fish, a place where they can care for the land as they have done for millennia. This is the fight that we have today. And our people have paid for it. Not only the people in the camps that have chained themselves to the machinery to stop every inch of line three. Not just that. But we also, we also call into mind all of our women, our missing and murdered indigenous women that have been impacted by all of these projects. We honor all of the children who lost their lives to the residential and boarding school systems, who died because they dared to speak their language. They dared to be who they were in their homes. We honor those children. And so as we are going to set out today to take down this black snake, and we stand in front of this government accountability office and the Army Corps of Engineers, and we call for accountability. We call for President Biden to finally honor the treaties, pull the permit for line three, and honor the rights of indigenous peoples. The catch. Thank you.